time getting the attention of women, but it doesn't help having brothers like Ryan Buerta around. Why? He's a soccer player and a model. Ah, the double threat. My kind of guy. And we're about to get a slice of his life. What about me? He is a soccer player, a model, and a really nice guy. Flash spent the day with footballer Ryan Buerta. First up, early morning training with the team. My passion began probably when I was around five or six in my first conscious idea that I was passionate with the game. Uh, I remember joining my first football team and getting my first kit and you know, my dad played pro ball as a youngster and I just realised then that I just loved it, I mean, everything about it. He's a very loyal and trustworthy friend. And yeah, he looks after everyone around him, you know. He, he takes an interest in people and yeah, he's just a generally down-to-earth good guy. I was uh, playing in Turkey at the time, I was 23, I just moved there. Turkey's a big league, I was enjoying my time there. I was unlucky, I got a knee injury, so I ended up being out for 20 months. And the doctor said to me that, you know, it's 50-50, I might never play again. He said the injury was so serious. And, the t and I'd left it so long, because I was told it was just bruised, that it was nothing serious. So I kept playing on it, that I damaged a lot more. And I went to opera, on the theatre, they said, look, four hours max, I've been there for six hours. Two or three screws later, you know, in the long uh, rehab process, it was um, it was trying period for me, you know. I had to train four times a day by myself every day to try and get back, and you know, here I am today. Well, Ryan is he's a practical joker. He loves to creep up behind you and absolutely smack you as hard as he can, and uh, or throw water on you. You wait behind you for wait behind a corner for you and and pour a whole a whole uh, big bottle of water on you or something. He's just such a practical joker and. We're going to get him one day. We are going to get you one day. You know, I'm 28 now, and uh, my ultimate goal would to be playing in the World Cup next year. You know, I think it's every footballer's dream to play at least one World Cup. You know, it's, it's here in South Africa next year in 2010. So I was in Europe for six years. I came back with the idea to try and work hard, get seen by selectors here, and, and, and push my way into that team. So ultimately, I'd like to end up there. And after that, maybe play until I was 33, 34 get a, a lot of caps under my, under my belt and just go from there. After two hours of training, Ryan and the rest of his team headed off for some ice therapy. This involves standing in a bucket of ice and water for 10 minutes as a way of preventing muscle stiffness. Not fun, not fun at all. Okay, that's, that's me done with ice therapy, getting a shower. You can't follow me though, but I'll see you at the shoots. Take care. After the break, we catch up with Ryan as he heads off to a photo shoot. And yes, he will be taking his top off again. Cheers, see you later. Coming up on Flash, we catch Ryan Buerta in a suit. Fashion in a flash unearths the trend boho versus hobo. We do a Harley Davidson and Tommy Hilfiger hookup. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show, and you know we're doing our thing. And we're doing it well. We've got a lot more coming up, but thankfully we're getting right back into the life of the super hot, super fit. Okay, no, no, I think that'll do. <sighs> Don't hate, Fiwe. Participate. Slice of Life continues with Ryan Buerta. Ryan Buerta hasn't only had success on the soccer field, this hottie has also been making waves in the modeling world. I got into modeling when I was about 19. I was walking through Sanson City. I just moved here from Durban. You know, I had long blonde hair. <laughs> walking around Sanson wearing shorts and a vest. Not an old Jobic person. And um, a guy named Arvin came up to me and gave me a business card and was like, yeah, give me a call. And uh, I thought nothing of it. And about a year later, I found this card in my wallet and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll give me a call for fun and I uh, got into that way. It's not my ideal, you know, preference. Um, but I, it's, it's nice to be someone else for a day, you know, it's different. Uh, it's catching a moment, seeing one picture, and um, it's not difficult work, you know. And But like I said, it's not something I would want to do my whole life. I didn't grow up wanting to be a model. It wasn't my, my aspiration to be a model, you know. It's something that came, out, came along and I was like, oh, something different, let me try it. I've actually got a little something to share here, and he, he's going to kill me for this, but Ryan can actually, he hasn't, He's too shy to go up and approach girls. He's always been too shy to go up and approach girls. He can't do it. it, he, it he, get, he gets all nervous, his palms start to sweat. And you know, so I think that, that gives like 
the ladies an impression an impression that he you know that he comes across as a bit you know a bit standoffish or a bit overconfident or something he's actually quite shy you didn't say that you did that you a few hours later, we caught up with Ryan where, fortunately for us girls, he was once again asked to take his clothes off, this time for a fitting for a hot new suit. Nice, Ryan. Very, very nice. I think what's really good about the suit is that the cut is typically Swedish. And then I like the wide collared shirt, but I'm thinking maybe we should go with a little bit of a smaller collar. I think it's phenomenal. I've got this function on for Live Out Loud magazine. And um, yeah, so you got to get dressed to the nines and make sure you look good. All dressed up and he is looking good. Ryan's final engagement of the day involves champagne and shopping. Well, here we are at my function tonight. It's been a long day. It's been a really long day. Training this morning, a shoot, and now function in the evening and training again tomorrow morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing it, Flash. You've been great, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care.